Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions, the worlds of TV, film, news, sports, music, everything really, depending on the guests, we talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Perman Otis. on social media, you know me as Petey Beats. You'll recognize my guest from a film that dropped on Netflix today. It is called <laughs> Finding Ohana. We were speaking to Lindsay Watson. Lindsay, welcome to Pop Turnative. Thank you for having me. Hello. <laughs> I mean... Today is the day. The movie has it hit you yet? It's it's available it is, right now. It is the day, and it honestly, it really hasn't hit me. We've been waiting so long. I mean, it, the buildup has been insane. It's been almost two years from the start of this process, from auditions to chemistry reads and filming, and now we're here. I mean, thanks to COVID, everything got kind of pushed off, but we are here, and it's so surreal. I mean, the fact that people can watch this on their TV in 190 countries, 193 million subscribers. Insanity. <laughs> it is amazing. And I do I do have to say, because it's out there, you are you are Hawaiian. You, I am, you, and yes. this movie takes place in Hawaii. I mean, right, like simple that is just so cool. That must yeah. be so cool for you. Oh, that was the biggest part of this movie that was the seller. I mean, I was born and raised in Hawaii, and then seeing this script about a Hawaiian girl who same thing born and raised in hawaii is around her family her culture and then on top of that kind of living the same life of she wants to follow her dreams she's a singer I, it's almost ridiculous how much hana is just like me the stories are too parallel like i joke that they wrote it about me because that's <laughs> everything i went through i just had to go in and like remember what it felt like when i was in high school and i was like okay there's my character development i had to do as an actor because i went through all of that i mean in high school i wanted to leave and go act and sing and i had that fear of leaving just like hana and here i am now so it kind of worked out absolutely i mean the film is so much fun the film is just stunning to look at the characters are very funny and very strong and powerful as well one thing I really liked about the film that they kind of thrown in, you mentioned, you know, you sang, you're a singer as well. I mean, the movie, like you and Alex sing too. And there's actually like that, they actually throw that in the movie, like, which is really it's cool too. So funny. Yeah. That was just like, I mean, funny enough for the audition, they didn't tell me anything about singing. So there was nothing involved with the audition. And then when I got called like a month later for the chemistry, as I was like looking at the sides to get ready, there was a song in it and it was like, just prepare the song. And I, I was like, thank God I have a singing voice because if not, I would have been freaking out. So it was still a very, very scary moment for me because I never really, I mean, till this day, I still don't really put music out or sing. It hasn't been something I focus on. I've been so focused on my acting for so long that I haven't put a lot of thought or work into it. And this was kind of that double whammy moment where I was like, well, I guess I'm going to get a lead in a Netflix film and also have my moment to finally share my voice out on a massive platform. So it was super surreal. And then getting to set and actually singing, like, I, actually, funny enough, those scenes where we're singing are the actual scenes from that day. Like, that's the vocals from the day we filmed on a location. Like, Jude, well, she had us do some, like, ADR work where we pra practice it later, but... She didn't like it. She was like, it's too clean. It's too perfect. Like, I kind of like how raw and real it is from the day. So we filmed that in the Jeep driving on the road in Hawaii. And then the scene in the cave was actually in a cave in Thailand. And now I'm curious because there might be a cool story behind this or probably not. But like, what's the story behind that song? Like, was that a <laughs> song you guys were singing before? Like, I'm just curious. The Mega Trader you know song. What? There's not like a true story, but Jude just loves Megan Trainer. It was like a personal <laughs> choice of like she was the one. Like she, we had we had another um, Megan Trainer song that they really liked, and like they they were kind of going through. And I mean, and it worked out perfectly because I also wanted to sing a song that was comfortable in my tone and around you know my style. And yeah. Megan Trainer was just just perfect enough where it's poppy and fun to keep it you know, upbeat. And then when we found this song, it was perfect. And it was just so cute. It, it kind of gave a, 
that little heart to Han and E in that moment. So it's a little secret message under. <laughs> His name is not E. E one. There you go. <laughs> you learn. You do. I, um, I love a man who takes a lesson. <laughs> it, it, there's there's there, there's so many. So obviously the, the, the obvious answer to this question is you hope people watch this movie with their family and that you hope they can, they want to watch it over and over again. But what are you hoping besides the obvious people yeah. get from finding Ohana when they watch it? For me personally, coming from, you know, a Hawaiian standpoint, my big thing is I hope someone walks away with just a little bit of knowledge of the Hawaiian culture that they never would have seen before. You know, our, our culture is beautiful, but it's small. It's on this little island in the middle Pacific Ocean that people have never really seen and on top of that when you do get to go to hawaii you kind of see the surface level grass skirts and coconuts it's not the real hawaiian culture that we as hawaiians live it's not the real life so in this movie we don't shy away from it we, we show the hardships we show the real parts of it the struggle it's expensive to live in hawaii you know it's not a simple place even though it's paradise it has its struggles and you get to see the language, the Hawaiian language that not many people have gotten to hear. You learn words, you hear pidgin, which is also a broken English that we speak a lot in Hawaiian, I mean, in Hawaii. And you just see things, things like the night marchers, legends we believe and things that we've grown up with. So I think it's gonna be so cool as a Hawaiian to see someone in this random part of the world know Hawaiian words, know things about the Hawaiian culture that they would have never known. I love sharing education with people and love sharing our culture. So that's amazing. Really super rewarding. Yeah. That's so cool to hear. No, I love that. Um, the movie, you know, besides, you know, just being stunning. I mean, I've seen every interviews cast I've done. I mean, you know, it's a treasure hunt, right? We think of a lot of old school kind of classic films like The Goonies. Yeah. And there's a little Easter egg in the movie that people <laughs> don't realize. Well, people realize, but pretty cool. Isn't that cool? We There's actually a handful of Easter eggs. I, I challenge people to go through and like really carefully watch. Jude Wang is just, she's fun like that. There's, I mean... I can even tell you, there's probably like 50 Easter eggs in the movie. Too, too many different things, but to the Goonies, there's a handful but Ki of them. Kwan, like... But Ki Hui Kwan, who's yeah. in it? Oh, yeah. Indiana yeah, exactly. Jones as well, right? Yeah, you can, exactly. And then obviously, <laughs> Ian Bryce, our, our producer, is involved with that too. I mean, there's so many fun things. I wish I, I, I laugh actually, because obviously I know the backstory of every single one of these Easter egg jokes, but having Ki Kwan in there was insane. We all watched the Goon. I mean, even the kids who, even though they were young, that was not their generation, they had watched it too. So when they told us, we're like, wait, like, booty traps? Like, that, that's <laughs> booty <fun."> traps. <laughs> And it took it took everything in me to not be like, can you please just say booty chats, please, for me on set? But he was the sweetest, nicest guy, and working with him was so fun. I mean, he was so excited to get to go and learn about the wine culture, and, and even his pigeon that he had to pick up his language was like, that was learning for him. He had to really get into that. But, oh, the Goonies reference there is so fun. I mean, our writer, Christina, she had a good time with that. <laughs> I don't know if you or the cast have done this yet, but you know, there's a lot of like, especially with the, the, the pandemic, a lot of people do things virtually, but have you, if you, if you ever do like a Twitter watch party where like you and the cast mm. sit down and like pick a movie and then like tweet about it or post, you should do to the Goonies. That'd be finding Ohio. Is that a thing? Cause I want to do that. You I guys should do that. Thing. Literally do it. On, do it. Oh, do that. Yeah. Do that on Twitter or something. Twitter you all, and you all press the watch parties. You press play at the same time and everyone's watching it the more you know i'm just like so not techie so learning these things is awesome i love it I'm but i think the good. funny part too is there's always that one person that watch it like that presses play like four minutes behind <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you know what i'd rather have four minutes in the person who's like just like five seconds behind like that's that's like the one that really goes and kills it <laughs> absolutely um it you know it's but it might be a bit too early for this question because the movie just came out today but just one day, what has the reception been like from the family and friends? You know what? It's actually been super positive so far. So that's been so heartwarming to hear. It, the movie came out at 12.01 last night, our time. And since then, it's just been a flood of messages, positive response from, I mean, not just Hawaii, but around the world. We, we've done a few things on Instagram. So to, today we've heard from people in France and Africa and everywhere and people are so excited between 
the fact of the Hawaiian people who are excited to hear their culture and then just people in the world that are excited to learn about it. There's some people who said they're in snow, so it was so nice to watch beautiful Hawaii at the time. So it was, it's been really positive. And I mean, fingers crossed it just continues because people, I think it was a much needed movie for the time, you know, it, it's been a rough, stressful time in the world. So it's kind of just a moment to chill and relax and just escape. It's just a fun, family-friendly movie, and you might learn a lesson or two, you know? Absolutely. Now, I'm, the, the vibes of this interview, we're having a good time. We're laughing a lot. So there's a sec. this is something I kind of do from time to time when I feel it out and everything. Is Lindsay Watson the fan of the dad jokes? Do you like oh, the dad jokes? I Okay. I am the best receiver of jokes. I love to laugh at jokes. Good. You could ask my cast, especially Alex, and he will tell you I don't know how to tell jokes, but you always want someone like me around to receive the jokes because I love dad jokes. I love anti-jokes. I love any jokes. I love my life by jokes. I was raised by jokes. But I still have not mastered the art of telling them. But if you're going to tell me a joke, I'm so, so ready. So, so you're in luck because I happen to be a dad joke connoisseur, which means <laughs> I have them rapid fire. Okay? So why why shouldn't you trust stairs? What? Because they're always up to something. <laughs> <laughs> or... Did you hear about the kidnapping, Lindsay? The kidnapping? No. It's okay. He woke up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've never heard these before. <laughs> you know, I used to work at a shoe factory, but I quit because it was soul destroying. <laughs> I feel disappointed in myself that I've never heard. Lindsay, remember when we went to that restaurant on the moon? The food was so good, but there was zero atmosphere. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh at the next one, I promise. Go, try me. The shovel was a groundbreaking invention. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay, and those are the... <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. I also have kidnapping just playing in on loop in my... Yeah, I know you were. You like that one. Don't worry, you woke up. I'm so sorry. I told you I was a great receiver. Of jokes. Yeah, these reactions are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm dying. I'm okay. No, for sure. Well, we're gonna we're wrapping up anyway. <laughs> Lindsay, thank you so much for coming up, Alternative. Thank you so much. This is the best. I'm so. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I know. It's okay. You woke up. It's fine. <laughs> You're killing me. Um, Alex would be very upset because Alex likes to be the joke teller, but that's someone else. So you have to make over. sure that, that your cast cast and crew I'll get you will get you the minute mark. <laughs> we get you the minute mark of when these jokes are. You make sure everyone sees it. So that next time I they can deliver them. When they, but when they come on the show, I'll have to have new ones. I'll have to have new yes. ones for them. Um, oh, you better be ready. <laughs> seriously, I do have to say con congratulations so far. The film is Thank amazing. You. you do a great job. Where <laughs> where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? Um, I'm primarily on Instagram um, at Lindsay, and that's with three Ys, L-I-N-D-S-A-Y-Y-Y-W-A-T-S-O-N. Amazing. And then I'm also on Okay, I'm learning to Twitter. <laughs> I'm learning how to Twitter. It's kind of confusing, but I'm also, and that's the same username on there. So Amazing. Um, those are the main places you can find me. And people could watch the movie now on Netflix. On Netflix! Which now is amazing. <laughs> well, this has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popturn for previous episodes. Be sure to catch Lindsay Watson and Finding Ohana streaming now on Netflix. Until next time, this is Lindsay Watson. And PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.